Hey guys, what is up today? We are going to do Welcome to Tutorials with Stephanie right now. We're going to do holiday cards. I'm going to show you how to create um, holiday cards on Photoshop for this year's Photoshop. So, welcome to Tutorials with Stephanie and this is Tutorials with Stephanie. So, let's get started. <laughs> for the holidays and the Christmases and where's my hot chocolate? No, coffee! And the Christmases and coffee. Okay. And so this is Tutorials with Stephanie. And it's really simple. So all you have to do is check out Photage on the App Store or Google Play or, or you can just do it all in Photoshop and then take it up to Walgreens. <laughs> okay, all you have to do is find a new on this one. Um, I'm not gonna do a screen record for this purpose because it is Photoshop. I'm sure all of you know what Photoshop is. So I don't wanna make you all look very stupid. So we are gonna do, um, well, we're gonna just create file new. And I actually have an actual little for a holiday guide, so yay! Yay! <laughs> okay? Um, as the holidays roll up, you always wanna have that Christmas card. Last year's, <laughs> I will have a screenshot above me. <laughs> Okay, um, I basically was not on a rooftop in downtown Cleveland, by the way. <laughs> Just a disclaimer on that one. I basically photoshopped myself on the roof, so it's, it's been photoshopped. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> I'm just going to go landscape 5x7, um, because it is a landscape, and that's what I'm probably going to use. Anyway, uh... And it's loading as usual. <laughs> okay. So basically, that's what you could use. And I'm gonna take that photo I have. I basically had this from iHeart Media Studio. I got the chance to go in the Kiss FM Cleveland studio um, to meet up with the band Loud of Luxury. So I'm gonna use that photo <laughs> as my highlight card because I am dressed up and I look very fancy in the iHeart studio so I'm gonna use that as my holiday card. <laughs> yes, and I already have a filter to it so <laughs> maybe I'll put two Santa hats on the two guys. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a holiday card, okay? <laughs> Alright. Okay, since this holiday card is mainly a taller one, what I recommend since it's a five by seven, I would just stretch it down just a little bit. Stretch, 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 stretch it down just a little bit and then stretch this part down just a little bit to make it all fit in the holiday card. Because it's just supposed to be a holiday card, you know? <laughs> I already have a custom filter because I actually use an app called Polo. So that's why the Polo is, there's a little fringe on most of my Instagram photos. Because <laughs> I am a photographer, I do more photography based. Um, I would definitely check it out. It's called Polo. I, I recommend you checking that out. And then if you decide to use Photage, for your holiday cards, I would definitely check that app out as well. It's very cheap and it's less expensive, very much less expensive than Walgreens. <laughs> um, if you want to have a cool custom based um, app, <laughs> custom based holiday card. If you wanted to make it more stickle feeling and you want to put all the stickles photos of your holiday cards right on that present, check that out. It's called Photosh. Yeah, why did, okay. <laughs> oh wait, so, um, 
So simple. <laughs> I move closer when I'm putting something on a person's head. So anyway, that is pretty much it. Um, that is how you create holiday cards. Um, I'm gonna resize the other hat because this is driving me nuts. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna just do that way. <laughs> yes, yes. I should put a hat on myself, but I'll just use that one for now. <laughs> and then for the text, um, I recommend using Christmas colors. <laughs> um, Adobe for the text, Adobe has so much custom text. Sorry about that sound of audio. Um, in the Adobe Type Kits, it has so much custom text. I want to use Moi as a Kremen Pro because it's Moi professional. Um, I recommend don't do it in, just do it in the middle of the holiday card because people want to see the actual text say, Merry Christmas from the iHeart Media. From 96.5 Kiss FM I Heart Radio <laughs> of and from Loud of Luxury <laughs> and from Ed Stephanie's Live. <laughs> so yes, that's what I'm gonna put. I'm just gonna put Merry Christmas. I could put Merry freaking Christmas. <laughs> oh, yes. But I'm not going to put freaking because of the kids. So I'm just going to put just Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'll just put Merry Christmas and then a little tag. Right. I recommend playing in the middle because if you take this up to Walgreens, <laughs> they tend to um, use the sa size very tender. Um, I myself have a holiday card over there that I basically cropped the Y off. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing it in the middle. Because the middle looks really cool. <laughs> yes, it works, works really well. And thank you for the guy that wore black and white. <laughs> so this is perfect holiday guard. Yes, indeed. So that is how you make a holiday card. If you want other accessories on your holiday card, like little stars or, I don't know, stockings, or if you want a frame around it, you can go to Google and just type, I don't know, Christmas. PNG frames. And if you want to add a frame on it, that is fine. But if you want to just do a regular plain holiday card with little Santa hats, that is okay too. So that is pretty much it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button up there and make sure you follow me all over it um, at Semi Slide. And yes, make sure you subscribe and follow me.